Parking shooting sports. I'm here in Germany hunting wild boar. I have the new Sauer 505 rifle and uh, had a day out with it yesterday and the day before. I wasn't lucky there, I didn't see any boar. But, um, well, today we're out and you can see this is day three and we've got beautiful snow. I love snow, so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm very confident in the rifle already though. I've used the 404 a lot in the past, the 505. It's kind of like a 404 Evo, but I think it goes with my phrase that evolution, not revolution, is where it's at. And I'm very happy with the evolution it shows. The 17mm diameter barrel is threaded 15 by one for a sound moderator or muzzle brake. This barrel is 510mm or 20 inches long. It's ideal for the close range dynamic hunting we'll be doing today. Overall weight is 3.5 kilograms or 7.7 .7 pounds. The walnut stocked Ergo Lux is 3.45 kilograms, which is 7.5 pounds, or the carbon stocked XTC will be 3.2 kilograms or 7 pounds. Started to clear. See my arc of fire is just back there a little bit, all the way across the front, and just down to about there, but not way up to there. Unless perhaps it's very, very close. Less than two minutes, the mist has just dropped back in again. My arcs of fire are still fairly visible. But my extreme range and clarity has probably dropped. 13, 50 metres maybe. But we don't want to shoot any further than I can see anyway. It's just down that darker, darker path there. Which I think they're going to emerge from quite deep shadow, so they could surprise me if I'm not on my guard there. It's very cold and it's snowing. But I find it very exciting. I, I don't often get super excited about hunting but I love it when it's like this because you're in an unfamiliar place you've made yourself familiar with these safe arcs of fire but your range is brought in closer by the fog anyway but um, I think what I like the most is you get that bit of adrenaline rush because you can't see stuff coming but you can hear noises now I've got my hood up at the minute because it's snowing quite hard but now I've got my, uh, my hood down so I can hear everything works better than most of the things that are broken on me but um
drive is over, I'm going to do you a little uh, review of the rifle, tell you some of the functions and features, but I'll say this now, I will get one as soon as they're available in the UK for a full usual review test with range time, target shot, all that kind of thing, but I'll tell you a little bit about the changes, what makes the 505 different. A lot of excitement now coming closer. so I can hear best. I can hear shouts and calls in the distance for Sao Kyla. as well. You won't be surprised to hear that the reason I dropped the camera quickly there was because I saw a wild boar. I dropped the camera in my bag quickly, cocked the rifle and made the shot which was thankfully successful. As well as the 308 seen here, the rifle's available in triple two, 223, 270, 6555 Swedish, 65 Creedmoor, 306 Springfield, 7x64, 8x57, 9.3x62, 6.5 .5 PLC, 8.5x55 Blaser, 7mm Rem Mag, 300 Win Mag, 8x68, 375 Holland and Holland, and 10.3x60 Rimmed. Okay, we just had a very um, busy spell lots of dogs and beaters coming through. I had two roe deer down here, it's a doe and a kid, and the kid was standing right in front of the doe, and they went across right in front of each other and disappeared into the dark there. So frustrating. Now the shivering starts. Overall length is 1,050mm, 40 inches. That's with a 510mm, 20 inch barrel. Standard magazine capacity is 3 plus 1, and it'll be two shots in a magnum. The magazine seen here is the extended five shot magazine. Let's hope it's uh, nice and waterproof. get an impression we're coming towards the end because the beaters have just circled all the way back now and they're heading that way. Speaking is becoming slightly difficult because it's uh, getting a bit chattery you could say. Well the hunt is over. It's uh, it sort of snowed on and off the whole time we've been here. I saw a road doe and kid, but I didn't get a, it wasn't a good shot opportunity because the kid was standing in front of the doe and then they moved off into an unsafe area direction anyway. So there we go. I've enjoyed it. It's nice to be out in this, but you do, you do start to uh, get very cold sitting still. But it's, uh, it's, it's nice. It's kind of nice to get moving, walking back out now, get the blood flowing a little bit. It gets a bit chilly sitting still for three hours. So, opportunity arises, a bit of a brief rundown on the new Sauer 505. It looks very similar to the 404. Uh, I hope it's got good corrosion protection because it's extremely wet after being hunting in the snow today. Um, essentially, the new things are, this is the XT stock, similar stocks as before. The stocks are actually interchangeable, you can have timber stocks, obviously it will warm up several grades. This is the XT, so the XT carbon, things like that. Big difference is, the bolt is now one piece, it doesn't have a replaceable bolt head. 
that has gone towards somewhat of a reduction in price of the rifle. It's not gone down in quality. They've just taken away some of the features they didn't really think were being utilised. It's very cold, so I'm a little bit chattery. So apologies, apologies if my voice is a bit juddy. Um, cocking system on the back of the bolt. So it's um, obviously forward for cocked, back down for, um, for safe and stable. I am shivering uncontrollably at the moment because it's freezing. Um, I did a video yesterday when the weather was slightly nicer, the bolt decock, so I'll show that one in here. Uh, other features removed, but they've changed the trigger weight, so you've still got the four position adjustable trigger weight done by taking the stock off. But they've moved, they've, they've removed the um, trigger adjustment feature, so you can't actually move the trigger blade now. Again, it was something that didn't seem to be getting utilised. One of the big features is, it's now an all steel action, I'll show you that in a second with the fore end off. And they've gone for the Blaza scope mount system. Um, also, instead of the Blaza flathead screwdriver for tension adjustment, they've now gone for the Allen key, which is part of the Sauer system. Because if you take the fore end stud out, that's got the folding Allen key, which allows you to change, remove the stock, and you can also change the cheek piece height with that too. So I can take the fore end off, just move that magazine out of the way. As you can see, this is all being done on the fly. We put Allen key in there, anti-clockwise and the fore end will now slide off like that so you can see the new steel action is a lattice structure here so all the benefits of steel it's durability but with weight saving as well magazine release is there it's a new magazine system polymer magazine Far simpler, really smooth, no damage at all to bullets up in the plats or things like that. You've still got interchangeable barrels, but as I said, it doesn't have a removable bolt head, but you could get a different bolt for it now. And if I just flip this over, you can see here is the four position trigger weight adjustment, which is controlled using the Allen key on the sling stud. That slots in the back of the stock there by the way to change the cheek piece height and how is that for a review on the fly in the snow and uh, you know horrible and awful. These are the Blaza scope mounts you've seen in the past and these have a hundred percent effective return to zero. I've tested and reviewed that in videos in the past so I am overall very very happy with what Sal have done to the 404 to make it the 505 because it is perfect evolution without the need for revolution because it was a fundamentally good rifle and they've made better and one of the most subtle things but key things they've addressed is the bolt travel because the bolt travel now slightly different the action here has changed so you've got more supported area and the bolt travel is phenomenally smooth and fast now and as they call it you can't hook it anymore it, it is virtually impossible to make it jam or stagger in transit and in fairness i had a 404 on review or oh, seven eight years ago when i was in denmark at Ulfborg when it first came out and it was a little bit tricky to use them because the bolt did have a tendency to stick so there you go i hope you like that review on the fly i'm just waiting for my pickup from the uh, from the hunt now and get back to uh, food and drink. I was hoping for a little bit more bore and a little bit more road here, but I guess that's my own fault by putting up the penalties that high. Um, anyways, um, I'm glad we got what we got. Uh, many of you saw bore, many of you saw road here. Five months later. <clears throat> no worries, you'll get one. It's important to say that Sauer have achieved two significant improvements over the 404. The bolt travel is far silkier and impossible to jam. It's very fast in use, and although people want straight pull rifles, this is an incredibly fast turn bolt action. 
The second thing is that the manual cocking system is very lightweight and quiet. It's easy to engage and disengage with very light thumb pressure and it's completely intuitive for those instances where you need to react quickly. The updated Sauer Quattro adjustable trigger offers slightly reduced pull weights over the previous 404. These come in at 350, 750, 1000 or 1250 grams, which is 12, 26, 35 or 44 ounces.